Whenever you're working with a 2D layer in After Effects, there is the possibility of enabling 3D just on that layer. And then when you do that, you'll get access to a host of new controls. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you not only how to enable 3D for 2D layers, but how to maintain control over those layers once they're in 3D space. To start, let's go to the timeline and select layer one. Press P on your keyboard to open the position data and you see it has X and Y for the parameters, meaning it exists in 2D space. Make sure your switches panel is active. If not, toggle between your switches and modes to your switches, and make sure that 3D is enabled over here on the right side of layer one. Once you enable 3D, you should notice that we now have X, Y, and Z. We also have orientation in addition to rotation, and we have material options. Now let's go to the composition panel. Press the period key on your keyboard to zoom in, not once but twice, till you get to 200%. It's kind of hard to see, but there are control handles here. So if I hover over this green control handle, when I get over that main point, you'll see the letter Y, meaning I will move this along the Y axis. So click and drag on the green handle to move this layer only along the Y axis. Press W on your keyboard to access the rotation tool and hover back over the same exact axis. Once you see the letter Y, click and drag, and now we're rotating that 2D layer in 3D space on the Y axis. The same goes for the X axis and the Z axis. Now I'll just press Ctrl Z on Windows or Command Z on the Mac to undo and press V on my keyboard to grab the selection tool. Hover over any of the parameters and click and drag to scrub that parameter. As you're dragging, if you hold shift down, it will scrub 10 times as fast. I'll press Ctrl Z on Windows or Command Z on the Mac to undo. Once you've enabled 3D on a layer, it's always wise to look in the upper right corner of the composition panel. This is where After Effects will tell you which renderer you're currently working in. If you decided you were in the wrong renderer, you can always just click on this button to go to your composition settings and change renderers. Now, whenever I'm enabling and positioning 2D layers in 3D space, I have to tell you I scrub the parameters in the timeline more often than not, because if your composition has a lot of layers involved, Sometimes it's hard to make sure that you can click directly on one of these tiny little points when you're repositioning an object. I find sometimes it's much easier just to scrub on the parameters in the timeline. 